Hey guys, this is Dow Phoenix, and this is the GameStop $1 Challenge. Me and some other fellow YouTubers decided we're going to challenge each other to see who got the best games at GameStop for $1 less each. I decided this would be a great time to do it since we had a buy two, get one sale. And I got a stack of six games here. Paid a total of $3.86 for them. After the Power Up Rewards discounts, we got... Two games on the PS3, one on the 360, and three on the Wii. So let's go ahead and get those on the road here. First of all, we have 2K Sports All Pro Football 2K8. 99 cents, buddy. I know it's a sports game, but this is kind of an interesting one because this is actually the very last football game made by Visual Concepts, the same people that made NFL 2K5. And it's actually kind of sort of like a fantasy football game in a way because you don't actually play as the actual regular NFL people. That play You play as people that are famous in the NFL, like the pros and stuff like that, you know, the all-time greats. And so this one's kind of one that transcends the typical yearly annual update thing. Even though it does say 2K8, maybe they were hoping that it could have been an annual thing, but fortunately it was not. They, I guess they probably didn't sell good enough because it didn't have the actual NFL license so yeah but this one is a really good deal the other one i'm actually even more surprised at here and by the way these are all cases and everything you know like they are all set they even have like manuals and stuff like that so these were like immaculate i mean i'm just checking all of them here yeah every one of them has a case and a manual which is just amazing um so here's the next one though motor storm Motorstorm, guys. This was one of the early launch uh, PS3 games, and this one was actually a really popular game for back in the day. And, uh, yeah. Everything, like I said, manual and everything. And actually, I think it's like there's like, might be, there's two manuals in here. Why is there two? I don't get it. <laughs> That's kind of weird, but whatever. In case uh, somebody needs a spare Motorstorm manual, hit me up. Okay, so that cut does it for the PS3 games. Then we've got Guitar Hero 2 on the Xbox 360. Yeah, it's a music game. Yeah, it's a really old-ass Guitar Hero game that everybody's got, but it was under a dollar. And you do not need a guitar to play this game. You can play with 360 controllers, so you don't have to try to hunt down a Guitar Hero controller if you just want a cheap game. So we got three on the Wii, and we're going to go ahead and get the shitty one out of the way first. I mean, this one is probably really shitty, and that is Kids Sports Basketball. I never even heard of this game, but it really looks terrible, as you can see on the back cover there, I'm sure. But yeah, this one's definitely going to be a stinker. But you know what? For a dollar, I'm not going to complain. This next one's pretty good. Pretty good. And, uh, you know, I think this might be a good one to check out. We Love Golf. This is a golf game from Capcom, as you can see right there. Good old Capcom logo right there. And uh, this one apparently has online play, which I'm sure no longer functions because the Wii's online is shut off. But uh, you can also play with your Mii, and you can even use, like, costumes like Chun-Li, as you can see there. It's kind of like a chun I don't know if you guys can really see it on the camera very good, but yeah, Chun-Li and other Capcom characters. So that's going to be really cool to see. And this last one, I was a little surprised that I got it so cheap. Um, I, I guess not too surprised because it's also a sports-ish game, but it's another one of those non-annualized, you know, churn to death ones, and that is Sega Bass Fishing. This is the Nintendo Wii version of the game, which originally came out on the Dreamcast. So this is actually really cool to add to the collection, you know, from uh, Sega, of course, because it's Sega Bass Fishing. Why would someone like Namco make Sega Bass Fishing, <laughs> right? But uh, and some people are. You might hear it in the background launching out fireworks. So, just to proof, you know, right here, here's the receipt, as you can see here, people. As you can see, all 89 cents, 386. All dirt cheap games. So, I'm going to link in the description whenever the other fellow YouTubers get their videos up. And we'll, uh, you know, see if you guys can maybe watch each of the videos and vote which one you think is got the best deals, you know, uh, at their local GameStop. And if you want to participate, go for it. Film your own video. 
uh, you know, let me know. I'll add you to the description. We'll uh, see if we can get a little uh, chain going here. You know, maybe we'll tag some people uh, to see what they can find in their local GameStop. So I think I'll go ahead and tag a few people right now. Okay, so here's who I'm going to tag. First of all, I'd like to tag Picky Old Gamer. He's a pretty good YouTuber. He does a lot of news videos and things like that, which I made fun of a certain YouTube for doing that. But uh, he, he does he really does his research, and he's an entertaining watch as far as that stuff. So I'm going to tag him, see what he can find at his local GameStop for a dollar or less. Doesn't matter. Any system, whatever. Just has to be... 99 cents or less on the sticker. Okay, and it can't be online. You can't go on GameStop.com because that'd be kind of cheating because anybody can shop on GameStop.com. We want to see what your local GameStop has. Okay, and the second person I'd like to tag is the Gorilla Gamer. Uh, the Gorilla Gamer, I'd like to tag you for this uh, YouTube challenge. I want to see what you can find in your area. I'm sure you probably got a bunch of good gaming finds. I could tell by the what you have in the background in your videos, you know I mean? Is you've got a lot of interesting gaming stuff, and I want to see what you can find at your local GameStop store for just a buck. Um, I guess you guys don't have to buy a whole bunch like I did, but you know what? Bonus points if you do. <laughs> okay, and the third person I'd like to tag is my boy, Dentenchi. Dentenchi, I want to see what you've got at your local GameStop. I'm sure there's got to be some excellent games just waiting to be snagged for a buck or less. And if it's all Madden and FIFA games, I'm sorry. But, you know, just pick out one, you know, at least uh, just to see what you guys have in your area. I, I'm really interested to see, you know, see what the best games you, you can get at your store are. Okay, and the next person I'm going to tag is a longtime friend of mine here on YouTube, Puck015, Puck15. I want to see what you've got up there in the Nebraska area for your local game stops. I'm really interested to see what you got going on there. Don't forget to film the video, you know, make sure to keep the tags on there so we can see people, so we can see that you actually paid 99 cents and you didn't just make your own fake tags or something like that, you know. Okay, and the last person I'd like to tag is a YouTuber I've just recently started following. I can't even fully pronounce his name uh, on YouTube because it's so ridiculously long, but it's Ultra Extreme Bombastic Game Room. I know him as Logan, though, on you, on Facebook, and so I'd like to see what he can find in his local area. I'm, you know, anybody can afford a buck game, so, I mean, let's see what you got, Logan. Let's see what you can get in your local area. Uh, but, yeah, that's all I've got to tag. Of course, there's some fellow YouTubers I've been talking to that, you know, we kind of came up with this idea to do this whole event, and so... And I guess this would technically be Americans only. I mean, I guess Canadians could technically participate, but with how your currency is going right now, it'd be even more challenging. So, And then, uh, you know, someone like the Brits, they kind of have an unfair advantage because, well, I don't know, with the whole Brexit thing, I guess maybe not. But uh, anyways, uh, don't forget to like, comment, sub, share if you guys enjoyed this content. You can even thumbs down. Doesn't matter to me because you're still cool in my books as I still got a view. So till then, Dow Phoenix out.